Number 27. In a slap shot, a hockey player accelerates the puck from a velocity of 8 meters per second to 40 meters per second in the same direction. If this shot takes 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds, calculate the distance over which the puck accelerates. All right, so quick sketch. Here we have a puck, and the puck is going to be pushed forward by the player. Right? The initial they told us, so the problem starts here. The initial velocity is going to be 8.00 meters per second. And it says that it's going to be accelerated to a velocity, aka a final velocity, of 40.0 meters per second. And that, so this shot, okay, so reading the second sentence, it said this shot takes 3.33 uh, times 10 to the minus 2 seconds. So what that means is that in order to go in order for the player to accelerate the puck from 8 meters per second to 40 meters per second, that process will take a total of 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds. Okay, great. And it says, now what we want to do is we want to calculate that distance, right? So we want to calculate from this point all the way down to this point. So that's my x. Okay. So let's consider a formula that we may know uh, that involves these three variables. So um, we have displacement, we have time, and we have the initial and final uh, velocities. So let's take a look. On the right-hand side, I got all the equations. So which one might be the best? Well, it looks like this one will work out pretty well, right? The last one, okay? So this one says that the change in displacement is equal to one half the initial velocity plus the final velocity multiplied by time. So in order for me to find the displacement, I need to know the initial velocity, which it said was 8 meters per second, 8.00. The final velocity then was 40.0. Okay. And then now the time, right? So the time it took, it said in the problem, was 3.33 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, and that's in seconds. I'm just leaving out the units, but I already know I have consistency meters and meters, so that's good. So remember, my displacement then will work out to be in meters, okay? Um, and the time values are all in seconds, so that, that works. So change in displacement is equal to one half. When you add these two together, you get 48, okay? But 48.0. Why? Because when you add the numbers together, the rules of sig fig say you can only go out to the tenths place here. This other number goes out to the hundredth place. So you have to choose the number with the least number of places. Okay, great. And then that'll be multiplied by 3.33 times 10 to the negative 2. Okay. And now my x value is the displacement is. So take out your calculator, plug it in. So 0 0.5 times 48 times 3.33 to the minus 2 uh, times 10 to the minus 2. And that works out to be a value of. <clears throat> 0. Well, 3 sig figs, we're going to have to round this, right? So 799 uh, meters. So that will be the displacement. And that makes sense. It's about a little less than a meter. All right. So it sounds reasonable. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this question, uh, hope this question helped uh, your understanding. And remember, if you uh, enjoyed what you saw, please do subscribe. See you next time.